What's up, YouTube? Um, so today I'm gonna be doing a review of the Dragon APX goggles, and these things are sick. They are awesome. Um, I picked them up for about 185, and uh, on the box it actually says uh, APX Cole Rose. That's a Cole frame and a rose lens, but I didn't like the rose lens. I actually wanted the um, ionized red and the uh, yellow lens, but they didn't have it. So they actually custom made me a package with a light persimmon lens for night riding and a uh, bright red lens, an ionized red lens for day. And so we have the goggles right here, but I'll get to those later. And so uh, first we have the APX uh, goggle changing system, and I'll go over this, but um, it's really, really easy. Second only to the uh, air brakes, which is even easier. Um, you know, you just flip the switch. But um, these are so sick looking. You know, the no frame technology um, is really cool. And so I'll go over that later. Okay, and so here we have the goggles. And, you know, just from the box, I could tell that these things were going to be my favorite goggles that I've ever had and I haven't wrote them yet but I'm so excited to and so we have that one hole around zipper and so we'll get to the goggles in a sec but um, you know it has the holes for let the goggles breathe after a day of riding and uh, nice uh, velvet inside almost um, really smooth and um, at the end there's the zipper and the zipper you know it, it's it goes all the way and you know you can it's it's not a it's not a full it doesn't come all the way off it stays attached and I thought that might be weird it might come undone but um, from what it looks like here it looks like it's really actually sturdy and uh, even if it did it looks like you could glue it or tape it right back on without any trouble at all and um, you know like I said hard case uh, hard leather with a shell won't do won't uh, you know keeps the form uh, just like a boot. A really high quality case okay and so here we have the goggles and like I said I ordered one lens and so there's a lens on top and goggles on the bottom but this case is a really really nice case um, you know um, could get it stained possibly from sweat but you know it has the cinch ties here to hold you know and they don't these don't come undone uh, very easily and um, and this case it's a little bit rough, and when I first felt it, I felt like it would almost scratch my goggles, scratch the you know you know two new two hundred dollar goggles that I uh, that I got. But um, it cleans them like a butte, and uh, it's great. Okay, so first we'll open up with the uh, the extra lens that I got, and this was um, a persimmon lens. Still, still in the plastic. I've taken it out, but I like to keep it in the protective plastic, um, so, you know, to keep it, to keep it nice. Um, all right, so we'll put that aside and wait till we change the lenses after. All right, and so next we have the uh, uh oh, oh, it's just a string. Okay. So next we have the goggles, and so here we go. These goggles are just sweet. You know, no scratches on the lenses yet. They are just crazy. You know, you, you can't see through it. You can barely see through it. And I like how it has, you know, the bluish tinting at the bottom. And, uh, you know, the bright red. Uh, this goggle is just pristine and, you know, frameless. It looks like the goggle just never ends. And now uh, these do give you sort of a bug-eyed look. But the peripheral vision added, I mean, I don't care. Because basically, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for a good, huge goggle look. And so, uh, so at the bottom, we have these solid, they're solid plastic um, vents. You know, one here, one here, and one here, and one here. And these things, uh, they're not made of mesh. And so, you know, I feel like I could take a really tough tumble when I'm going off a jump. And, you know, these things won't rip. I mean, I've had a problem with that. Even my... Um, uh, my A-frames, which is what I upgraded uh, from these, or I upgraded to these from the A-frames, uh, one of the vents actually ripped because I took a face plant uh, off a rail, and, uh, you know, 
destroyed my goggles. They were scratched to hell. So, um, so yeah, we got the nice frame. has the uh, silicone gel so it won't slide off your hat or helmet or whatever you wear. Two adjusters, this nice rubber uh, dragon logo and uh, both sides. And, you know, something that I really like because I like at the bottom here. It has the silverish, uh, silverish place that has the dragon logo on it. I think that adds a really cool, uh, you know, almost uh, luxurious look. I mean, <laughs> if you're buying $200 goggles, I mean, they're already uh, luxurious, but it looks, looks pretty clean. Uh, fingerprint. Okay. <laughs> so... All right, so we have the goggles, and um, these these have the nice holes at the top. They don't, uh, you know, at this point, you really, when you're wearing the goggles, you already can't see the frame. I mean, it's it's crazy. You feel like you're just not wearing anything, and they're so light that uh, you know these vent holes just help you help the goggle breathe and don't matter at all. So we have um, a three-layer foam here. We have the plush up here, another layer of foam, and a tougher layer of foam down here. And they're glued on pretty sturdy. And then inside we have um, a nice, really nice uh, anti-fog coating to these goggles. And, um, you know, the, uh, what I noticed is that it's so, this, this case is so plush on the inside. You might have noticed that there's a lot of these plushy uh, white beads on the goggles, but that's okay. They easily come off and uh, they're not discomfort, discomforting or whatever, you know what I mean. All right, and so uh, this is really nice and soft, you know, feels like a stuffed animal. All right, and so uh, great pair of goggles. Uh, I, I love them, haven't even tried them out yet, but I already love them. I picked them out from a distance. And you know, actually, um, there was some, uh, there, there's a debate between the um, air brakes, the Von Zipper fish bowls, and the EG2s. And I have a pretty, I have a normal sized head, and these fit my head great. You know, they don't, uh, you know, they don't obstruct my nose bridge right here. It's a great nose bridge pad. And um, with Oakleys, you know, I feel that they don't have enough vision. Maybe, maybe that's just me, but I like to get as much peripheral vision as I can. And with these, you know, you can basically see behind you. Um, and they're, they're great. And the Von Zipper fish bowls actually have, you know, a bigger, uh, have the biggest of the lenses, but they, and they have a frame too. And, um, but actually they cost, if you want to get almost the same package, one with a yellow or whatever, their light blue lens for night riding, cause I do a lot of night riding. That's why I picked up that, uh, persimmon lens over here. Um, that that's actually you can drop almost for the case and that you can drop almost two hundred forty dollars on it and you know that was just too much for me i mean i'm already dropping this much on it and i hate to drop more um so um i mean and i love these anyway and so the eg2s the eg2s were even cheaper they were about 80 bucks for a basic pair but you know they got up to about uh 160 when I was uh, with with all the with all the stuff, excluding a case, um, a case even as nice as this one, but um, but they were excluding a case, and I just couldn't justify it to myself, knowing that I've heard some reports that the EG2s, their lenses are actually so fragile and so scratch, uh, they you know they scratch so easily that uh, you know I couldn't bring myself to buy one because I just couldn't bear scratching my new lenses. And these lenses are super durable. I've changed the lens almost about, I don't know, maybe maybe five, five or six times. And, you know, just leave fingerprints but nothing else. It's just a great, great lens and great goggles. All right, so I'll show you guys how to undo the, um, how to undo the goggles and replace the lens. And so, you know, you have this, this finger hole right here. And you just get a finger here and a finger here. And then you just pull apart. And actually, it's uncomfortable how much you have to pull apart. You know, after a while, you, you feel, you know, with these new $185 goggles, you know, you don't, you don't want to rip them apart, but um, it can take it. It's, um, it's a nice rubber polyurethane um, frame, and you just, uh, you know, take it out just like this. And so you have the, the uh, lens right there and the rest of the goggles. And, um, all right, and so I'm going to be replacing it with this, um, 
this lighter persimmon lens. And now this is a nice lens too. You basically see the same with this lens as you do in normal light. It's basically just like riding, you know, basically just like glasses without the vision impairment. Um, without the vision improvement, I should say. But, um, and so, you know, you don't want to touch the inside. That's where the fog coating is because uh, that would mess them up. But, um, so you start, you start from the nose bridge. And, and, you know, on these goggles, they have these holes. See that one and 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 that one. Well, you start at the nose bridge and you match them up with these little prongs, as you can, you see. And you just, you put it right on and you just press and it should snap right in. And uh, it's not a loud snap, but you just press it and then you just snap right in. And if not, you can go from the inside, like I just did there, and you just snap it from the inside. You push the you push the frame down around it, and it should snap right down. Snap. Darn it. <laughs> um, there we go. All right. No. I like to go around this way. It's supposed to go up here, like the picture says. But I like to go around this way. It's easier for me, at least. So these go on really easy. Um, you might have to stretch the stretch the lens a little, and uh, to get it so it's nice and uh, comfortable on your face, um, so that you know the, the frame is where it's supposed to be. And so snap, snapped. All right. And so there we go. We changed it, and you know that can take that only took you know like 30 seconds. And so you use your nice cloth here, polish out all the fingerprints. And, uh, you know, I was actually scared because I bought these cheap pair of fake Oakley glasses from whatever, from some stupid site. And, um, and uh, I, I touched the lens and, the, you know, the coating actually came off. And so when I got these, I hadn't owned a pair of glass of goggles, these nice. I was afraid to touch the lens, but, uh, you know, these coatings, they won't come off. I mean, you can try really hard, and I'm sure that you can, that it can come off, but these uh, these coatings are really, really nice. And so there you go. Perfect for night riding. Uh, I forgot to mention, you know, cylindrical lens, which uh, helps a lot, you know, with the uh, no distortion in the vision. Um, and so we changed the lens right here. Got the nice persimmon. We can ride in the night. And, uh, yeah. And so these goggles, they'll set you back for this particular passage, package, about uh, $185, 200 with tax. But uh, they are completely worth it. I love them. Haven't even tried them out yet, like I said. But I'm so excited. And these will be keepers. These will last me for years. Dragon, you know, they make, not, not a generally old company, but they make really durable stuff. You know, with their glasses and everything, these goggles just feel so durable. Like they'll they'll never break, and uh, so yeah, pick yourself up a pair, ride them this winter. Uh, they actually just came out, 2012s. Uh, they're great goggles. Uh, see you later. Don't forget to subscribe, vote, comment, any questions you have, like you know, all that stuff. All right, see you later.